Morning, morning, morning. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Love 500. And welcome back to a sort of how-to series. One of the very common problems on a Fiat 500 is flashing mileage. Take a look and you'll see how you might be able to get rid of your flashing mileage. There are various reasons why your mileage flashes. I will explain them all. But the most common is what I think is the problem with this. So stay tuned and we'll show you what you have to do. So, as you can see there, I hope is in focus, is my flashing mileage. My mileage was 63,491 miles. The clock is flashing because the battery's been disconnected, so don't worry about that. Uh, the mileage above it, 63,491 miles is flashing, as you can see. Now, let me explain to you what causes it. Some of you will already know, some of you won't, so let me explain, and then hopefully um, it, will, it will help you out in the long, in the long run. So uh, yeah, let's just turn the camera around and we'll have a little chat about it. Okay, so you saw the flashing mileage. Uh, the reason you're watching this video is probably because you got flashing mileage as well. Now that, let me just turn the lights off. I don't know why the lights are on. Um, that is, turn the ignition off as well. So flashing mileage is generally caused by your body computer, which is the fuse box. That's, uh, if, you, if this is a UK car, right hand drive, the fuse box is behind the uh, parcel shelf in the passenger side fuse box and that is actually the body control module so the reason that your mileage will flash is because at some point one of the other ECUs within the car has lost contact with that body computer and for the body computer to freak out and tell you exactly what the pro what's happened it flashes your mileage now sometimes that body computer might have momentarily disconnected and then reconnected and everything works fine not a problem if that happens, then a proxy alignment, which if you go to Fiat will cost you 120 pounds, at, at, at least 120 pounds. I think the price has gone up now, but it will be around the 120 pounds mark. And what you're paying for there is an hour on the diagnostics. This takes two minutes to do a proxy alignment, literally two minutes, but they charge you for an hour on the diagnostics. If you was to, if you've got that problem or any other problem, what you need to get is not go out to Argos or eBay or Amazon and buy yourself a generic code scanner, it ain't gonna be no good. What you need to buy is multi ECU scan, which is a piece of software. It's 50 euros. You download it, you can download a free version from the website, which gives you, which you can connect to things, you can't do anything, but it gives you a feel for what, how the software works. All you need is an old Windows laptop. It works on, I'm not sure how far back on Windows it goes, but I used to run it on Windows Windows XP, I think it was. Um, I bought a laptop for 30, 30 pounds on eBay and, and uh, until it died, I, um, I used that. Now I've got a Windows 10 laptop and I'll run it on that. Um, later version, but um, I upgraded. So multi ECU scan uh, and you can get it, for, I'll put the link to the, um, to the website in the description of this video, but uh, basically it's multi ECU scan.net. I recommend you get the ordinary version, not the Bluetooth version. I don't actually think they support the Bluetooth version anymore, but just get the ordinary one. And then what you need, on a Fiat 500, the vast majority of ECUs that you want to connect to, use that yellow adapter and the Elm connector as well. So get yourself on eBay. You don't need anything fancy. All you need to do is get an Elm that's got a USB cable on the other end and Maybe get yourself, you can either buy yourself a full set of colored cables. There's, I think there's five different colored, yellow, red, blue, green, gray. I think that's it. On most Fiat, well, on all Fiat 500s that I've ever worked on, you only need either nothing or the, just the yellow one. So the yellow one, will, the yellow one connected to the Elm will connect to every ECU except for the automatic gearbox, um, the steering, I believe, and definitely 100% the engine. Everything else, yellow adapter. 
Um, so I'm going to fire it up in a minute and we'll, we'll have a go at doing this proxy alignment. I haven't done it on this car. I've only just got this car today. Notice that the mileage is flashing. So I'm hoping a proxy alignment might sort it out. So I often see on various Facebook groups and so on, people are saying, I've got the flashing mileage. Anyone know what caused it? There are a million threads on some of these Facebook groups, all about the same, the same fault. And as much as it's frustrating sometimes, I always comment on there and say, this is, this is the problem. Um, but I'm telling, I'm going to tell you now instead. And I'll probably post the link to this video on Facebook numerous times, um, which will ho obviously, hopefully help people out. So if, you fl if your mileage is flashing, it's more, like more than likely your blue and me module. So that has lost connection. What you want to try is if you have a, um, a lounge, or you've got steering wheel controls, so you've got the blue and me button, you've got the windows button on your steering wheel, press that when your stereo's on and see if it connects to the blue and me. If it doesn't, then your blue and me is probably broken. It doesn't on this one, but I'm still hoping it might work. There are, uh, there are another couple of options, uh, one being the proxy alignment. The first thing to try is disconnect your earth battery terminal don't need to disconnect the whole thing. You don't need to take the battery out. Just a quick release. Just pop off the quick release earth terminal on the battery. Leave it for 10 minutes, come back, and then try it. If it still flashes, the next thing to try is proxy alignment. I'm gonna show you in a minute how to do a proxy alignment using multi-ECU scan. If, a multi, if, if there is an issue with your blue and me, it will come up with various errors. It will just, the, the proxy alignment will just fail. It won't even see your blue and me unit. It will think it's not even there. In which case your blue and me unit either needs replacing or repairing. You can get, there are people on eBay that will repair them and it will cost you around the 170 pound mark to get it repaired. Some, may, maybe a little bit cheaper you might get someone to do it, maybe around 150 pound mark. Now I used to buy ECUs for around 70, 60, 70, 80 pounds. That's, those days are gone. Unfortunately, they're really expensive now. Um, so the options you've got, you can take out your Blue and Me unit, send it off, get it repaired, put it back. You're still, you still possibly need a proxy alignment. Um, you can take it out, buy a second hand one. We'll come on to that in a second. Uh, and then that will need a, definitely need a proxy alignment. Or you can put an all singing, all dancing stereo in with Bluetooth all built in and you can just forget about your Bluetooth unit and do a proxy alignment and it'll, uh, it'll work. Um, so proxy alignment, let's, let's try that first and then we'll come back onto the other things. So I'm gonna turn the camera around, link it up, show you how to link it up and where to link it up to, and then we'll show you how to do it. So back shortly. Okay, in case you don't know, your OBD socket where you plug this into, is located behind here. All it's all you've got to do is pull it off. So just grab hold of it and pull it. And under there is an ODB socket. You see the yellow thing? This is, I don't know what this is. I think this is some, uh, probably a black box has been put in here at some point. So get your ODB, get it around the right way, get it in there, plug it in. Yeah, simple as that. As I say, on the other end, you've got a USB cable. That USB cable you plug into into your laptop. Try and do this one-handed, so bear with, bear with. Put it run the right way might help. I can't get it in. I'll come back to that in a second. Um, well, I'm just booting up my laptop, so I'll come back in a second once it's booted up, and I'll launch multi ECU scan, and then I'll come back and we'll uh, we'll do it right from scratch and show you how to do it. Okay, so to do this, ignition needs to be on, not the engine on. You just turn to the first position so your dashboard comes on. So th there you can see Fiat. 500 1.28 valve which is what most which is what all the 1.2s are if you're in america you're going to have one of the 1.4s you've probably got the uh, either the turbo 16 valve or the 16 valve multi-air one of those two um, and if you've got an arbath the 500 1.4 turbo 16 valve t-jet stroke multi-air arbath that's your arbaths there's all the others in there um 500 l's 500 x and so on and so forth but obviously we're working on a 500 um, an ordinary 500. So the first, before we try and do, this is a new, as I say, this is a car that's come to me today. Uh, and I'm gonna, first of all, because we're having problems with the Bluetooth, um, the first thing I'm going to do um, is I'm gonna just go to the body computer and see if any errors come up. So as you can see on the left there, we've selected body, and then we've selected, it's automatically selected body computer at the top. So you don't necessarily need to do this for a, 
um, proxy alignment, but I just want to do this because I want to see if it comes up with any errors. So you go up to F3, press errors, and hopefully there won't be any. Proxy configuration patrol, control, present. Convergence telematic node, present. Okay, so I think that safely, we can safely assume there that probably our Blue and Me unit is broken. But we're going to try it. We're going to try the proxy alignment. So that is a good indication that your Blue and Me system is broken. Uh, the reason I've got daylights and left and front side lights shining blue as intermittent is because I've had the, the um, bumper disconnected and the lights all disconnected. So I'm going to clear those down here. Uh, and I'm sure, that obviously, the proxy configuration control will stay on or we'll come back well yeah no fault codes if i go out of that and come back it will they'll come back on so we won't worry about it we're not going to do that so before we actually do the proxy alignment uh, what i'm going to do is i am going to attempt to connect to it so as you can see at the moment we've got body computer selected if we go to dashboard that will show us so the instrument panel down there the, th the third one down and the rest that follow it are your dashboard the Uconnect will be obviously your your Uconnect radio if you've got a facelift, um, not that one. Obviously the multi, the, the screen one, the five inch or seven inch screen. But as you can see, the convergence blue and me. There's three different ones there. The most common one is that top one. Um, if you connect to one of them and it comes up with an ISO error, all that means is you've connected to the wrong ones. You'll still get the same errors. You'll still be able to reset things and change things and whatever. So it doesn't actually make any difference. But generally, select the top one. That's more likely to be the one. Again, you've got the reminder to connect the yellow cable, which it already is connected. And don't forget your ignition needs to be on, otherwise it won't read it. Connection failed, no response from module. See, the, the computer thinks that that Blue and Me module has been disconnected. So I think we can safely say that the, the um, proxy alarm isn't going to work, but um, we'll give it a try anyway. So uh, we'll do that now. So what we're going to do is we are going to do a proxy alignment. So as you can see here, we've got body control, um, where we selected body computer. If you scroll down to the bottom there, you've got can set up proxy alignment. Select that, click on connect. It tells you, it gives you a reminder, connect the yellow adapter. We've already done that. So we'll just press yes, and it will connect to the body, uh, sorry, it will um, connect to the body computer and it will attempt to do, you'll get a couple of warnings come up um, and then it will attempt to do the proxy alignment. If it works, see, convergence telematic node removed, I think we can safely assume that it's not going to work, but we'll try it anyway. Um, what was I going to say? Yeah, so if this works, what it will do, it will go through the motions, you'll see it, and it will, it will attempt to write a, a file to the body computer for each module. And then when it gets to the end of it, it will tell you to turn the ignition to the off, off, you then click OK, turn your ignition back on, and your mileage stops flashing. This, I don't believe, is going to work in this one. So we click on adjustments. It shows all our different things that are present or not present. And all we do is we go down there and we click on execute. Please read all notes. Read the, read the notes about what the proxy alignment is if you want to. I'm not going to read it because I've done it a thousand times. Press yes, write in proxy data. So if you read what it's put in, so it's right into the various modules. So the body computer, success. Dashboard node. Success. Airbag node. Success. Is it next? I think it might be next. Actually, I think it, think it thinks that the Bluetooth has been removed, so I don't think it's actually going to do it, or it might just fail. Because normally it would have gone straight back, straight onto the next one now, and it hasn't completed. Okay, so I don't know, press, so it says it's completed, that's because it thinks the blue and me has been disconnected. So it says, turn the key to off, so we'll turn the key to off. We'll press Y to continue. And then we'll turn the key to on. And we may find it stops flashing. But I think it will probably start flashing again. It's because my door's open. Let's close the door. It has actually stopped flashing. However, my Blue and Me doesn't work. So it didn't connect to the Blue and Me. So although the mileage has stopped flashing, 
my blue and me in this car doesn't work. So what I'm going to try and do, uh, I'm going to turn the stereo on, turn the music down, and then I'm going to try and press in the Windows key, see if anything that happens. No. So my blue and me is broken in this car. So the blue and me unit, in case you didn't know, is located behind that panel. Uh, and I will put a link to the video I've got of how to do that, how to take that out and how to take the panel off and everything. Um, there's, there's a couple of videos knocking around on my channel that shows you how to do that. And I will link to those and show you how to do it. Um, but as I said, I've got, I've got three options really. Take that out, get it repaired. Take that out and just turn the stereo off. Take it out uh, and buy yourself a second hand one on eBay. Uh, in which case you'll have to do the proxy alignment again, and, but it will work at least. Uh, or the final thing is replace that entirely and forget about the blue and me. Um, if you've got a pop, you won't have blue and me unless you've got the steering wheel controls. Now, replacing a stereo is a lot easier if you haven't got a pop because you haven't got to mess around with a module. Some of the stereos you'll buy on places like AliExpress will come with a module uh, and it should be relatively easy to set up. Uh, I think there are some that are more successful than others. I've not done that myself. Uh, I've only put one into a pop which didn't have steering controls. Using another one, the, there are there are modules that you can get, and I may actually do that with this one. So there you've seen me do it live. So as I say, I hadn't done it in this car before. I wasn't actually expecting the mileage to start flashing, but be, rather than it be an error, it obviously thinks that the thing is disconnected. Now, the thing does have two fuses. However, it is extremely unlikely it's the fuses because the two fuses I can't remember the numbers of the fuses off the top of my head. They're in the body computer. However, the reason we know that they don't, it is not the fuses, is because those fuses also cover quite some other systems. One being the stereo, and two, I think it's the speedometer display. I can't remember now which one it is, but if those are working, you know it's not the fuse. And 999 times out of a thousand, it's going to be that blue and me unit because it is a known fault. So if, if that's the case, and you want to swap it over, take a look at the, uh, the video that I'll link um, at the beginning and I'll also put a link to it at the end of this video as well. Have a look at that on how to take it out and as I say then you've got the, they are riveted in so you need to drill the rivets, there's three rivets, you need to drill them out and then you need a rivet gun to be able to put them back unless you can use nuts and bolts, I'm not sure, it's a bit, might be a bit fiddly with nuts and bolts. Uh, if you are st st um, taking the stereo out, if you're at the same situation here where the car thinks it's been removed, you, might, you can just leave it there. If you can't do a proxy alignment because, although it's not showing it being removed, it doesn't work, it would need to be to dis disconnected. So if you can't get your mileage to stop flashing, you need to disconnect it. And you can't disconnect it at the stereo, you have to disconnect it at the unit. One of the other things that sometimes happens with the Fiat 500s and Blue and Me, I'm not sure if it happens in other Fiats as well, as well as it breaking, it causes a parasitic drain on the battery and your battery will, will drain down to zero within a couple of days. The only way to get around that is to disconnect it at the unit, in which means you've got to take that back panel off, which is an absolute pain. But that's the only way you can, you can do it if that is the problem. Uh, and I think generally it's probably a good idea to do that anyway if you are going to um, stick another stereo in. I think it's good practice to disconnect it because even if it's not causing a parasitic drain at the moment, it might do in the future. So that's it basically. So if you've got any questions, if I can help you out on anything I haven't covered on here, on flashing mileage, please let me know. Don't forget, you only need a yellow adapter plus the Elm 32, is it 327? I could never remember. Elm, it doesn't actually say on that. I think it's an Elm 327 adapter and the yellow. Um, yeah, that takes care of, uh, of everything on a Fiat 500. Uh, I've also got a Fiat 500X and that uses the green and the red one as well, but I've never had flashing mileage in that car, so I don't need to worry about it. So that's it, that's a proxy alignment. That will cost you £120 to have done at Fiat. Um, I do these for people for free. People come to me, I've done it probably 10 or 15 times for, for people and, and done it for absolutely free. Um, it doesn't always work. It has worked in this case, but of course my blue and me is still broke. So as I say, if you have got any questions, if I can help you out in any way with flashing mileage or multi-ECU scan, let me know. Drop me a comment and I'll get back to you um, and we can, you know, we can see if I can help you out. So, as always, 
thanks for watching hope you enjoyed this video i hope it has been useful and has taught you something um yeah that's it that's the end of the video so as always thanks for watching if you're not a subscriber to the channel please hit that button up there if you can't hit that button up there hit that button up there it's actually down there somewhere but subscribe to the channel please and give us a thumbs up that's most important give us a thumbs up because that really helps the algorithms on the channel so as always again for the third time thanks for watching take care stay safe and we'll see you on the next one